This is how to set up an automated feedback activity as a teacher. Let's jump into a freshly created activity in full screen. If you're not sure how we got here, check out our LMS setup videos. It only takes one minute to go from login to new activity. For now, let's click on the three dots in the upper right corner and press edit. Fill in our title and instructions. Check whether this is an individual or group submission. Remembering groups are synced from the LMS automatically. And scrolling down to step two, I can add additional instructions for submissions as well as a deadline. I only want students to hand in one file here, but they can keep resubmitting. So I'll make sure to choose required submissions minimum one here. Now we can choose the criteria. There are around 40 criteria to choose from in total. Scrolling down to step three and pressing get started, I can build a fresh set of criteria or configure from template. Let's see what options we have here. New configuration here lets us just build from scratch, or we can see recently created criteria sets as cards in the bottom with the view all button letting us see the full list. Pressing use feedback fruits template lets us select from pre-made lists. Let's click on thesis and use template and we can now see the criteria listed in this interface. We can delete sections with the bin or press configure to give more details. For example, specifying a desired word count in the content sections or deleting a specific criterion with the red delete button. Let's press apply to save any changes and back in the main list, we can scroll down to the bottom and click add another to customize further. And when we're done, at the top right, we can click done and that's it. Pressing save at the top finishes up. And if I want to try out the automated feedback process myself, I can navigate to step three, press upload file and let the tool read my work as it would for students. And don't forget, if you want to reuse or share this activity setup, clicking create template will let you quickly replicate this activity in your LMS, while under the three dots, share will let you send the activity setup to any email address. So as students begin to hand in the work, we'll see the data populate these sections, clicking on students here to see details per individual or group. If you need extra support, our help center and website are full of course design resources, and you can always use the blue button to contact us directly.